Welcome to part two in developing an OpenGL wallpaper uh, using Android. Um, right now, this basic project just has a palm tree that's spinning in 3D space. We can do a lot with 3D objects, but this is kind of the baseline. Okay, This is developed for my 8th grade Android application class, but I have a feeling there are lots of folks out there in the internet that probably would like to get started uh, embedding 3D objects and using OpenGL. Uh, with live wallpapers. So if you followed part one, which is referenced in the show notes, uh, I also have a website set up for this particular series. You should have imported the, pro the project called GL Example. GL Example has uh, several simple files in it, okay? And I just want to talk about what each one does so you, you kind of have a feel for what's in here. Uh, file texture and GL textures, okay, those two files load the texture onto the object, okay, and we're just going to change, and it basically I'll show you where it points to like a PNG file, a picture file that will generate within Blender, and I'll show you how to generate that. Uh, you don't have to change much there, but it's good to know where the picture file is located. GL example extends GL wallpaper service, okay, and uh, that is just your wallpaper service. You really won't have to change anything there at all either, uh, unless you're working with settings, and uh, that's a whole different, the scope, that, that's beyond the scope of this tutorial is, is doing settings. So if you want to change settings and stuff, it's all going to be there. Uh, glmodel.java, that loads the model that we export from Blender, okay, and processes the OBJ data. Um, OpenGL renderer, that's where our drawing is being done. And you can see this tree right now is spinning in 3D space along the Y axis. It's just spinning in a circle. Okay. The frames are being processed inside of OpenGL Renderer. And we are simply uh, rotating our object uh, a little bit every time the frame is, frame is redrawn. And our draw function is in there. And then we've got our basic settings file. Okay. So uh, the only files we'll be really changing in this tutorial are the glmodel.java. We'll be pointing it to a new model that we create. And our file texture.java will be pointing that to a new texture UV image map that we create. And by modifying this and this, okay, we can get a whole new 3D model to show up correctly here. Um, our assets are also important, the assets folder. This is where our OBJ file lives, and we'll be generating that in the Blender. The material file is irrelevant. We don't need that, but it is there. Um, inside of the drawable folder, this is our texture that we will generate in the Blender, and then the icon for the program, okay? So these are the basic pieces that are in this project that we'll be working with, okay? Uh, I guess the first step is just to import some kind of an object into Blender. So I'm gonna go into Blender right now, and uh, I'm gonna go File, New, and I'm gonna create a new project, and I'm gonna delete the default queue, all right? Uh, I have a whole series on working with the Blender and basics. You may want to review that if you're not familiar with the Blender. You'll need to be able to get in and, uh, and do some basic manipulation. The cursor is in the center. I'm going to choose File, and I'm going to Import. And in this case, it's an OBJ file. Any object, any way you get anything into Blender is going to be fine. In my class under Network Drive Students, BET Classes, we have a folder called Blender Resources, Blender Models. We have lots of models that uh, my students have developed over the years through various resources. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to choose landscape. All right. And I'm going to find something that looks fairly, you know, reasonable. Um, I think that's the tree that I'm using right now. No, that's, that's a different one. So I'm going to choose tree. Nah, I, don't, I don't think that's going to work. Um, let's try buildings and castle. Oh, let's take McDonald's. I like that. Let's do McDonald's. So I'm going to choose McDonald's.obj. And there are lots of resources on the internet okay, for uh, developing and, and bringing in models. You can buy commercial licenses to redistribute models, however you want to do it. So here I've got this McDonald's image okay, that I'm going to use. And I want to take this and I want to drop it into my live wallpaper. All right. So at this point, you should have Blender open. You should have a model at the center of the Blender interface. And uh, you should have your GL example ready to go over here. When we have all this set up, you're ready for part three. And in part three, we're going to go into the Blender. And we're going to process this model so that it works with our project. 